Good evening and welcome to Light in the Darkness. Well, it's the 20th of June and it's the longest day. How on earth did that happen? Hasn't time passed quickly, even when we thought it was moving very slowly? The first of these little slots I did in the darkness of a March evening. And tonight, the sun won't set until more than three hours after this is broadcast. How incredible. The longest day. Do you like the longest day better than the shortest day? Some people love the daylight of summer. Others much prefer the darkness of winter when they can go home and shut the curtains and shut the world out. I suspect none of us will be quite so keen to shut the world out this winter time because we have shut out so much over the spring and summer months. In part, we are struggling still with being shut in. For those who are shielding, although they have a little more freedom than they had before, they're still not free. For those who are able to go about a little bit more normally, there's still that sense of being restricted. For those who are working and putting themselves off very often at risk, there are the challenges of not having the luxury of the restrictions that protect others. No matter who you are at this time, there are struggles. But no matter who you are at this time, you don't have to struggle with these things alone. Whether this is the longest day or the shortest day, whether days are hanging heavy for you or flying past far, far too quickly, please know that you're not alone and how you are feeling is the same as it is for many others. Others understand and you understand. So reach out to those that you know need your help, your support and your help just now. In this longest day, take time for someone else for whom this day is too long. Good night and God bless. Thank you.